Hi, in this video I will show you how to animate this logo in SVJader. From the toolbar, select the ellipse and start drawing the shape in the center by holding Option and Shift on Mac or Alt and Shift on Windows. From the right sidebar, change its color to black. Import the logo image by using the library feature and click on the Upload New button to import the asset from your device. Drop your imported image into the canvas. Now lock your elements and enable snapping. Recreate the logo shape by drawing a circle first, just like this. From the right sidebar, change color from fill to stroke and set the stroke width to 15 pixels. Select the circle and make small adjustments. There, that's better. Next, I need to convert the ellipse shape to a path. To do this, right click, then choose Convert to Path. From the toolbar, select the Add Node tool and add two nodes, like this. Now delete this node. Right click and delete or simply press delete on your keyboard. To edit the nodes, select the Node tool from the toolbar or simply press A on your keyboard. Now I'll go ahead and recreate the rest of the logo by selecting the Pen tool. There's no need for the imported image anymore, so I'll make it invisible. Select the Node tool again for some final adjustments. I will now go and change the stroke color to red and rename the element accordingly as red. Create a duplicate. Right-click, copy and paste option, and then hit duplicate. Switch to the Transform tool. Now select the duplicate and move it two clicks to the left and two clicks up. From the right sidebar, change the duplicate stroke color to this blue and change the blending mode from normal to hard light. Rename the element as blue hard light. Next, I'll create a duplicate of the selected object, just like this. and change the blending mode from Hard Light to Color Dodge. Rename the element as Blue Color Dodge. Now I want to create a group with the two blue elements. So for that, I'm going to select them. Right click and group. Then double click on the group and name it Blue. Now I'm ready to animate. I'm going to select these three elements and go to Animate here and choose the Stroke Offset Animator. Go to the Stroke panel on the right side of the app. Next, go to Path Length. Click on Copy To and select Offset and Dashes. Now move the playhead on the timeline to one second and set the offset to multiply by two. Play the animation from the beginning to see the self-drawing effect. To make it more interesting, I will add a bouncing motion, but first I'll select all my keyframes and move them to 1.6 seconds. Now I will select my initial ellipse from the Elements panel and unlock it. Make it smaller and move it up outside of the canvas. Now go to Animate and select Position. Move the playhead to 0.6 seconds. Drag the circle down like this. Now drag the playhead to one second and move the element up to the center of the canvas. Again, I'll drag the playhead to 1.4 seconds. Right click on the 0.6 second keyframe, then duplicate. The duplicated keyframe will be added at the playhead's position. Now drag the playhead to 1.8 seconds and duplicate the keyframe from one second. Next, I'll add another animator to it, scale. Drag the playhead to 1.4 seconds. Go to Animate and select Scale. Now move the playhead to 1.8 seconds. I will hold down Shift and with the Transform tool, I'm going to scale it up. Just like this. Play the animation from the beginning to see the animation. To make the bouncing effect look more realistic, I will add some easings. I'll set an easing for the first keyframes. Select the keyframes, 
Go to the easing options and select from the easing presets list. I'm choosing ease in quad. Select the second keyframe, go to the easing panel and select ease out cubic. Now select the next keyframe and use ease in cubic. And for the last one, I'll use ease out cubic. Next, I'll select the keyframes from the scale animation. Go back to the easing panel and choose ease in cubic. Play the animation from the beginning to see the bouncing effect. Fun, right? Like going the extra mile with your designs? Add a glitch effect. Move the playhead to three seconds, select the blue group and go to animate here. Choose the position animator. Move the playhead to 3.1 seconds and move the blue group incrementally to mimic the glitch effect. Repeat with a few other keyframes. Now select your glitchy keyframes, right click and hit duplicate. Repeat the same step again to make the glitch effect play longer. Play the animation from the beginning. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.